Before we get into it, I want to uh, show you a picture on the screen here. If uh, Logan could pull that up. Do you recognize what that is? That's a bird. Do you know what I'm type? I'm 100% correct. That's ha a bird. Have you seen one of those before? Um... I'm no, and I'm think I'm glad. <laughs> Brett, how about yeah? Do, do you know what I that cheated. is? I cheated you cheated this morning. You so. cheated. <laughs> well, folks, that is the uh, lesser prairie chicken. Yeah, uh, it looked lesser to me. Yes, yeah, it's not. It's not the it's, greater. Yeah, prairie definitely chicken. looks lesser. It's, we we did find out that the greater lesser vibe. <laughs> the, the lesser is much more aesthetically aesthetically pleasing. It would I almost would have to yes. be. Um, so that bird right there uh, could cost American energy workers their jobs, thanks to Mr. Joe Biden. Now, if you guys remember, on day one of the Biden presidency, he canceled the Keystone XL Absolutely. pipeline, uh, putting you know over 10,000 American jobs in danger, harming relations with Canada. Um, and then just a couple of weeks ago, we talked about on the podcast about Biden uh, lifting sanctions or not imposing sanctions on a Russian pipeline right. and allowing that to go into Europe. Well, on Friday, uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service um, headed up, you know, Joe, it's part of the executive branch, uh, backed by Joe Biden and John Kerry, moved to place that chicken the or uh, well, I think it's a breed. It's in the pheasant family, so I. Mm. Can't, yes, but they call it a chicken. Yes. So the uh, <laughs> the lesser prairie chicken, it's much more fancy <laughs> yes. than a regular. Chicken. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, was it was moved that 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 would be placed on the endangered species list, uh, and you know I, I think there's there's some importance to you know placing things on endangered species list. Sure. Uh, but this feels so much like uh, federal overreach. Um, where the chicken roams is oil and gas territory. It's, uh, I believe a lot of it is in Kansas, it's in Texas, it's in Nebraska, all areas where oil and gas uh, extraction is key, and that's a huge part of the economy. Well, guess what? Their land just happens to be the, the land where these roam. Uh, but something interesting he is only moving to put the the um, section of these chicken that land that roam on certain area of land where they they uh, get oil and gas out. That's where he's trying to protect them at, not in the other area where they roam. So it's only the area where really? there's oil and gas. Yes. Yeah. So the, the area where wow. they, they don't roam or where they do roam, but there's not oil and gas. He doesn't care doesn't about care protecting about them there, there. Yeah. but their population is declining there, but he's only wants them endangered in the area where there's oil and gas extraction. So it feels like he's Joe, not even trying to hide yeah, it anymore. So it feels like Joe Biden is trying to exploit the Endangered Species Act to push for his radical uh, environmental agenda. Do you guys feel like that's what's happening here? Well, I, I mean, I, you know, my favorite game is, is uh, dumb or dishonest. Oh, yes, when I it love comes this to, one. To Democrats. Um, you know, so does he not, does Joe Biden not actually understand the consequences of what he's doing, or is he um, misusing mm. the uh, Endangered Species Act uh, to uh, favor his own ideology? Well, that's a toughie. Uh, I wouldn't put either past him. Although Joe Biden is much, much smarter man than his public persona mm. uh, gives off. You know, he he kind of cultivates that, you know, uh, just old Uncle Joe kind of thing. Um, but you don't get to be president by being dumb. You just you just don't. You can be uninformed, but you can't be dumb. So I'm going to go with dishonest on this. I'm going to say. Uh, that Joe Biden is uh, uh, just, he cares more about, um, really what it comes down to, I think, is he cares more about globalism than anything else. Mm. And one of the ways that he fosters globalism is to make America energy dependent yeah. on other countries uh, and to um, disadvantage the American worker, including oil and gas workers, who are mostly unionized and, yeah. you know, supported him in his run for office. So this is a, a complete betrayal by him of them. But I would say that's that's how I'd bet. Mm -hmm. That's how I'd bet. Yeah. Right. Um, <sighs> dumb. Dumb. <laughs> dumb. Um, it's just the continuity errors hurt 
like when we see over, he's finally he's helping uh, Germany and Russia, I believe, yeah. was yeah. that at the EU yeah. construct yeah. a pipeline. Mm-hmm. So I mean, there's the continuity errors, and that's frustrating because as American voters, I feel like we should be able to look at that and say like, well, what's going on here, Mr. Right. Joe? Like, are we stu- Are we how stupid? Are we really? Um, yeah. And then, he thinks we're pretty stupid. Yeah, and when you get the, um, I think all of us here, I don't want to speak for all of us, if there was a chicken that was going to go extinct because of a certain move, I feel like we, all of us would be like, well, we don't want animals to go extinct. We're right. not we're not bloodthirsty. We don't want to kill all the chickens and sell them to KFC. We're not crazy right. people. I'm um, not even sure KFC serves chicken. Yeah, I'm not sure what that, that is. That was a bad endorsement. Actually, maybe that, that might have been a KFC chicken. <laughs> that, that, yes, that might have been. I'm, yeah, not, might I'm have not, been. not sure yes. how that works. Um, so it's, it's frustrating to see... Uh, the office of the president exploit an animal to pursue mm-hmm. their ideological or their ideological beliefs, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the continuity air strikes, that's so frustrating um, to see this. And then the pipe, the Keystone Pipeline, in addition to that, um, they, it's a war on uh, sufficiently safe energy. Mm. And what is your substitute, Mr. Biden? Yeah, um, what are you going to tell these yeah. people whose lives are now at least not, I don't want to say ruined, I'll give them some resilience. I'm going to give Sure, of course. Over um, time, anyway. But it's just, uh, at, at the flick of a pen, it's just really, that's the part that's just getting over a bird. Uh, there should be much more inquiry over this, mm-hmm. just like, uh, and I yep. think you pointed this out, there are four regions specifically where this bird roams, Yeah. Um, and only two of them are just, yeah. uh, the population has decreased all throughout them. So it's mm-hmm. just like, why are we, pay, it's just so politically motivated, yeah. it's so shallow. Yeah. Um, we all love birds, we all love animals, but... Mr. Biden, well, there's people at stake. There's lives at stake. Yeah. Children. There's it's just it's such a it's a I don't know. Just yeah, a, that's just disingenuous.